Hello everyone and welcome to Blender Animation Tutorials. In this tutorial series I explain the essential Blender concepts and tasks that you need to know in order to create complex simulations. In this particular tutorial I will explain how to change a path direction in Blender. This problem seems trivial, however for complete beginners it is not. Over here you can see an object that follows a curved path. We want to switch the path direction such that the object moves in the opposite direction. Since some of you are impatient, I will immediately explain how to do that. However, I strongly suggest all of you to watch the complete video tutorial. In the tutorial, I will explain how to model this object and how to make the object follow the path. Also, please press like and subscribe. As a side comment, over here you can see the buttons that I'm pressing. For example, if I press the left mouse button, you can see over here. Or if I press a letter, for example, N, you can see it over here. Reversing this path is relatively straightforward if you know what you're doing. To change the path direction, click over here to go to the edit mode. And over here you can see the path. Click over here and select normals and immediately you can see the path direction. If you press 7 on the noon pad you can see the direction of the path. The, the direction of the path is actually in the counterclockwise direction. Let's change this direction. To do that select any node of the path, press A, then click over here on segment and click on switch direction. And voila, here it is. Now the path is in the clockwise direction. Let's run the simulation by pressing space. Here it is. Let's switch the direction. Okay. And that's it. Simple as that. So to repeat, over here I will undo what I did. I was in the object mode. Okay. Then I changed the mode to edit mode, then I went over here and I selected this option and I can see the direction. Then what I did, I selected this node, pressed A to select everything, clicked on segment and changed the direction and that's it. In the sequel, I will explain how to create this animation from scratch. Click on File, click on New and click on General. First, I will make a few adjustments such that you can see the keyboard and mouse button that I'm pressing. This will help you to more easily reproduce this example on your computer. I will run a plugin which tracks the buttons being pressed. Most likely you don't have this plugin, so don't worry about it. And that's it. Now you can see if I press left or right button over here. Perfect. First of all, let's erase this cube. Okay, next. Let's add the cylinder. Click on Add, click on Mesh, and click on Cylinder. Let's scale this cylinder a little bit. Let's say 0 0.5 in the X direction, 0 0.5 in the Y direction, and let's leave the Z direction as it is. Next. Let's rotate the cylinder. Click on Rotate. Then over here we can rotate the cylinder for, for example, 90 degrees. Okay, here's the rotated cylinder. Let's add wings. To add wings, click on Add, click on Mesh and click on Plane. Let's scale this plane. Click over here, click on the plane and let's scale. Now. When scaling the mesh, it's always good to be in the top view. You can press 7 on your noon pad to be in the top view. Okay, let's do something like this. Okay, here are the wings. Perfect. Now, let's make a union of our cylinder and our plane. To do that, first select the cylinder, then click over here, Modifier Properties, click on Add Modifier. And we need to find here this option, Boolean. Click over here, click on Union. Next, click over here and select the plane. Here it is. Okay, 
You can see some other options over here. However, we are not going to play with these other options. And click over here and click on Apply. Now you can see what happened. Let's try to move the object. Click over here and here it is. You can observe two things. First of all, we created a union of the cylinder and of the plane. However, Blender is smart enough to create a copy of the original plane. And here it is. We don't need this copy and we will erase it. For the time being, press Ctrl Z to undo this movement and simply select the plane and you can safely erase the plane. Now again, try to move to see the effect. Perfect. Next, let's make this animation more interesting by changing the colors of our object. To do that, click over here, select the object, then click over here and click on new. And over here, you can change the base color. For example, let's select this color. However, you cannot see anything over here. To see the color, you need to press over here or over here to see the rendered color. For the time being, let's use this option. The next step is to create the path. To create the path, let's go to the top view. So click on view and over here you have a viewpoint. Select the top view. You can also press 7. Now zoom out and for the time being let us make our object invisible by clicking over here. Then click on add, click on curve and click on path. And here is our path. Next, go to the edit mode. Here is the edit mode of the path. And select the first node. And we will extrude this node. You can do it by either pressing over here or pressing E on your keyboard. Let's press E on the keyboard. And here it is. Then again E. Here it is. Then zoom out. Then E. Here it is. E. And let's create a simple spiral. I'm just pressing E and moving the mouse. Okay, here I need to zoom out. E, E, E. It's not perfect, but it's still okay. Let's see what happens. Okay, looks as a spiral. Okay, that's enough. Perfect. Now you can press over here to see the cylinder. Here is the cylinder and here is the path. Here it's very important to verify the direction of this path. To do that, first click over here and click on normals. And you can see the direction of the path. The direction of the path is not correct. Since we want the path to start from here, to change the direction of the path, first select any of the nodes, then press A to select everything, then in the segment click on switch direction. And now the path direction is good. OK. Finally, let's create the animation. You can rotate the view and go to the object mode again. Zoom in. Make sure that this selector is on. Select the object, first of all. Here it is. Then hold Shift. Select the path. Then do the following. Click on Object. And over here, try to find Parent. Here it is. And over here, again, I need to repeat this. Object, Parent. Go to the submenu and click on Path Constraint. And here it is. OK. Perfect. Now, let's click over here. But first, deselect everything. Select the object again. And click over here. And you can see this menu. Here you need to adjust a few things. For example, you need to adjust the Axis, you have this option, you have this option, this option, this option, this option, and this option. I will keep the x-axis as the main option. You can also choose minus x. It doesn't matter. Then, click on follow curve and click on animate path. And now, you can simply expand this menu over here, or this part of the screen, and press space. And here it is. 
here's our animation. Perfect. Here you can see one issue. You can see that actually our object flies away. We can prevent it from flying away in two ways. The first approach is basically to click over here, then click over here, and then expand path animation, and over here you can select how many frames. For example, you can see it's 100 frames, that's good. So make sure that 100 frame correspond to this location. And then over here, you can simply specify 100. And that's it. Let's run the simulation once again by pressing space. And here it is. Perfect. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.